Hello and welcome. Shortcut has evolved from a few of my tutorials and you can move things in the timeline much easier even though you cannot select multiple clips. So let me just show you. We're gonna start with the question, what if you want to move uh, clips to the left? You want to move this to the left and this to the left, but you don't, by closing this gap over here, but you don't want to do it manually. Well, all you gotta do is right click here and press remove. I'm just going to hit Ctrl Z to undo this. You probably noticed if I redo this, undo this, redo this, undo this, you will notice that this clip and this clip, they stay where they are. Now, if you want them to also move when you do the remove over here, I just undid it, then all you have to do is click this button, the menu for the timeline, and there select Ripple All Tracks. And now when we press remove here, they all jump to the left. Wonderful. The next question is how to move multiple clips to the right. Now we cannot do this by selecting multiple with shift or control, that's impossible yet, and then dragging them at the same time. Instead, we have to have a clip of the exact length that we want to move it to the right. What we can do is just go to file, open other and create some colored clip and then just drag it from the source view to the timeline. Zoom out because it's really huge usually. We're just gonna go to uh, one minute exactly. You can see here. All right, we're gonna split it here, delete with the delete key on the keyboard so it doesn't move to the left. And if we want, for example, exactly five, uh, five seconds and 10 frames, we can just enter this here, press S to split and then remove this part, all right? Now I'm going to select this prepared clip and hit cut. We can also hit control X. I'm just going to use the icon. All right. And now where do we want this new space to be added? I think I want it over here between these two clips. I use alt arrow keys left, right to jump to these cuts. Now, if ripple alt tracks is not enabled and I paste it, only the bottom track will move to the right. I will undo this. All right. I will jump back with Alt and left mouse, uh, left arrow key. And now I will enable Ripple All Tracks again. And if I hit Control V or press the Paste button, all tracks, I mean, all clips on all tracks move to the right. So that's how you do this. I'm just gonna use the Delete key on my keyboard to remove this one. Finally, one question that maybe is not so interesting, but just in case. What if you want to add a new clip from the source view? I mean, you can actually just add it here and then move it around just the way I just showed you. But if you just wanted to do it directly, you might want to add it to a gap which is too small. So if we add it in here, it will just overwrite this clip, which you might not want. To prevent this, you will have to enable ripple, trim and drop. So when we do this and drag it in here, So once it is enabled and it is a bit highlighted, we can open the clip, drag it in here, and this even the uh, space will be moved to the right. And if I undo this and disable ripple all tracks, you will see that again, this affects either the track on which it gets added or all tracks if ripple all tracks is enabled. So you have a lot of flexibility. You cannot select clips directly, but you have a lot of flexibility when you want to add insert clips, move clips to the left, move clips to the right by a specific uh, duration. I hope this helps and makes some previous hacks unnecessary. Please subscribe to support this channel and have fun editing videos. Until next time, ciao!